Why, hello, my dear friends! Welcome back to Game of Thrones Season 2 AU. We're on part 6 of this baby. Part 6. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, we've come a long way, and we're on episode 3, or part 3, of this amazing little fan-made series. And if you happen to miss any of the previous parts from before, you can either find them all on Twitch, or you can head over to my YouTube channel, Michaela Faith, or Twitch Michaela Faith, where you can find all of it unedited and a lot faster access to there. But yes, so we left off the story where our boy, our boy here, went back in time to discover his daddy -o getting the nasty, getting the done, getting the, getting that done, and making a baby. Making a baby. So he realized that he actually has a half-brother and sister who were, who are his bastard, bastard children, who have been in the North Grove this entire time. And he's, Roderick finally has discovered the truth. So he's like, what's going on? So let's continue. Yes, thank you so much for watching. I love every single one of you. It all means a lot to me. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones in general, we just finished playing the t full series of season one on Tell Telltale Games, Game of Thrones. Go check over on my YouTube channel, Michaela Faith. You'll find it all there. And as soon as season two comes out, we are playing it. But in the meantime, we're doing this fan-made AU that is fulfilling us for the moment. If you know any other games or spin-offs or other AUs or anything else Game of Thrones that you want us to check out, please let me know and we will check it out. Yes! Awesome. But let's do it, guys. All right. So Roderick is like, <clears throat> gasp. How was it? It's all true. My father had bastards and Elsra and her brother are those bastards. So there's no point in getting Ironrath back, not while the White Hills still live. Ironrath would provide a decent foothold, a base from which we can attack the White Hills. I have a hard time deciphering who's talking or not, so bear with me here. Then they know we're coming. We need to strike while they can't locate us. They just slaughter us all over again. Especially if you have a traitor among you, like we did. Yeah, yeah, that bastard traitor Dunkin' Donuts. That's right, Garrett doesn't know that his uncle is a freaking traitor. Is he gonna tell him, Roderick, you have to tell, tell him about Dunkin' Donuts? Hmm, let's see. What's that supposed to mean? How the hell do you think they took Iron Wrath the first time? It was your uncle, giving them information in some pathetic attempt for peace that took away any advantage we had. Ooh, he's telling him. What? He wouldn't... What happened to Duncan? Duncan Donuts. He was a traitor and had to be punished. Your uncle is dead. Yeah, we, uh... In my playthrough of season one, we killed him. We killed him, cause F him, man. He was a huge traitor. It was like such a big disappointment to me to find out that our uncle was the traitor, but we killed him, he did. You killed the only family I had left. Well, sorry, Garrett. I mean, what else could we have done? I just passed the sentence. He may as well have killed himself. You. You know what, Roderick? You do what you frickin' like. We're taking our home back. If you want to go on some effing quest to kill every white here in Westeros, be my guest. I'm not taking orders from a man who killed my uncle. What, Garrett? Come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett, boo-boo. He's a little, he's a little upset right now. I mean, granted, he has every right to be upset, but also, he was a traitor, um, but he's, he's man. We're staring. We're staying with our lord. He saved us from slavery at the White Hill camps. They deserve justice. Then we take back our home. See, our men are with us. I'm sorry, Garrett. Our men are behind us. Lord Roderick, I... I think I should go with them. I came to tell you about Mira 
and if there's anything she would have wanted, I think it would have be to have her home back in the hands of the foresters. Why does he look all beat up? What happened to you, Tommy? Tommy boy? Yeah, in this AU universe, Mira is dead instead of Tom. We sacrificed Tom to save Mira, but, you know, we gonna do. Just remember what I taught you, and try not to die. Try not to die! Okay, so, so they are going with Garrett. They're not staying with Roger. Oh, okay. Oh, these guys are. Okay, I see. We're, we're splitting up. We're heading out. Where to, my lord? Wait, wait! It's Roderick, right? Aw, oh, Sylvie. Our queen. Our snow queen princess. There's something you need to know. Aw, oh, cliffhanger, you bastards. Where are we now? Looks like we're with Talia. Oh, she's, she's practicing. Yeah, she turned into a little knight. Look at her. Woo, she's kicking butt. Yeah, hey, like that. Hey, like that. She's in Timberwatch one month after the arrival. So this is one month later. Got ya. I love that they're having Talia do, like, learn how to sword fight and everything, how to defend herself, because usually during these times, the women of the world, you know, weren't really, I mean, they weren't, like, I don't know if they were, like, not allowed to, but they for sure didn't usually do this kind of sword fighting. I mean, but Arya did. Arya Stock did. But now Talia is. She's like our little Arya. Uh-huh. <laughs> I win the honor of being the victor's queen of love and beauty. Because no one else is watching the tourney. Austin's going to have to get better if he wants to be my personal guard. Oh, oh, Lyara. <laughs> She's, I love her. I'm trying, Lady Lyara. She's just better than me. If I can't beat her, I can't beat no one. Well, that's just sad. Also, I think, I low-key think he has a crush on Lyara. I think he does. I've been learning on and off for a few years, but you've only just started squiring, and now you're not training regularly. There's no shame in losing. But I lost to a girl, when? <laughs> oh, look here. Lady Forrester beats a stable boy. I bet White Hill is quaking in his boots. Wow, who's this jerk? <sighs> You've been wearing that frown for almost a month, and I'm getting tired of people picking fights with me. Tell me what's wrong, or just get lost. If you're not looking for trouble, maybe you shouldn't carry a sword around acting like it makes you a knight. Knights tend to get into battles. Okay, somebody's got to stick up his butt. There we go. I don't know who you are, but if you tell me your name, I can go through my list of people who want me dead and work out what your problem is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Eddard Thornton. My family got caught up in a little blood feud, and now my son is in the hands of House Warwick. We didn't even do anything. They just rode up to Steelport one day and cut us open. All I escaped with was a sword, our ancestral shield, and the clothes on my back. Well, that's unfortunate for you, pal, but what is it? What, what's the bloody hell got to do with me? Why are you mad at me? What did I do? I didn't do nothing. I'm just a little girl. A little Talia Forrester. My family was dragged into this, too. But that doesn't mean I'm shitty to her. That's right, Lyra. You tell. You tell her. I mean, tell him. Rest of your family were, though, from what I've heard. Oi! Leave it out! If you want to insult either of these two again, you'll have to go through me! <laughs> You're not really scary, buddy. I'm sorry. I could cleave you in two, boy. But luckily for you, I don't go around murdering children. I'll see you three around. Alright, see you later, Wiener Hunt Jr. If there's one thing I hate, it's bullies like him. Yeah, I'm with you. 
Lord Whitehill does have the man's son. I don't think it's really an excuse to be an arse, but maybe we should give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I love the little self-made crown she made, and it looks like her bruise is almost fully healed. Yay! Oh yeah! Yay, I like this guy and the relationship he has with Kyra, their cousins. We're at a grandfather's place. Well, not um, the their grandfather's place. Or the great-grandfather. I don't know. It's so many people I can't keep up. Lady Talia, may I speak with you? I know we haven't spoken since our initial meeting, but I'm grateful you trusted me to look at that cut on your eyebrow. I need you to know that I left my family name behind when I became a maester. I have nothing to do with my brother's work, no matter how much Ned Thornton says otherwise. Yeah, this guy is a White Hill, but obviously when you go to get to become a maester, I don't, um, you kind of like let go of your family name and all attachments to it for the most part. I mean, not really. It's more so if you're like a maester of the Night's Watch and you take the black, then yeah, but he could still have a connection with his family, so I feel like we can trust him 50% at this point. I never said I trusted you. I just let you look at a cut on my face. A month ago. Doesn't mean I'd like you. I'm very tired of your family. Don't blame me there, girl. Do not blame you there, girl! Understandable. I just wanted you to know I'll never do anything that might bring harm to you. I won't do what Naaman did. Gods, the idea of sending a raven to High Point makes me ill. That place. I have no desire to go back. Sure. Sure. Or is this all big, big, some big ploy, huh? Are you gonna get us later? <laughs> you seem very eager to get on my good side. My uncle Malcolm used to say that words are wind, that actions show our true beliefs. Ooh, yeah, Malcolm. Oh my gosh, whatever happened to Uncle Malcolm? The last we saw of him, he was uh, in Marine with, with Daenerys, with our Queen of Dragons. Oh my gosh, is he still with her? Does he know that Asher is dead? I bet he feels bad because he left, he stayed with Daenerys when he should have went back with Asher. Maybe Asher would be alive if Malcolm was there. I don't know, who knows? Because, you know, if you think about it, he totally could have lived because Malcolm could have stayed behind when Roderick and, uh, you know, that whole thing where he had to choose between Roderick or Asher on who he wanted to stay behind to keep the gate open. Malcolm could have did that. Just saying. Then your uncle was a wise man. Mm. Is a wise man. He's still alive in Essos. Uh, so he's, he's still with Daenerys then, okay. You didn't think to try and find him after Ironrath fell. We had no coin to get on board a ship, and if we made it to Marine, I wouldn't know where to find him. And extreme dry heat brings me out in a rash. Oh, looks like somebody's arriving. Do do do! Who's this guy? <laughs> Is that a hand drawn? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, he's got a White Hill shield. That's no good. White Hill's at the gate! What the? Oh, bollocks. Aaron, what do we do? We have to let them in. All they'll have sense something is afoot. Hide, quickly. Grandfather's in bed. You guys tending to the ravens. So, I suppose it's up to me to deal with this. Yeah, but you're blind. Aaron, you're blind. Okay, all right. Cool, send in a blind man, no problem. Open the gate. Let the visitors in. <laughs> Talia's like, I'm gonna go hide in the corner over here. Yeah, see you later, bye-bye. Seriously, standing in a blind guy, totally not cool to him. Morning, all. Oh God, it's this bitch and this dick. Oh geez. Discalus Mandractor Dandar. Uh, what? <laughs> what did he say? Is what is he? Uh, you all right there? Maybe he's drunk. 
and he's slurring his words. Or he's casting a spell on us. Are you a witch? Warlock, I mean? I didn't expect a lady. Might that be Lady Gwyn? Fortunately, I can't tell. I'm blind, you see. Yeah. Yeah. You can address me as Sir Alana if you want a title for me. I'm not Lady Gwen, and you're not Lord Grayson. I am indeed not my grandfather, Sir Alana. He is an old man and needs his rest. What brings you to Fair Timberwatch? We're here on the orders of Lord Whitehill. You see, we got a raven from a friend of ours saying Lady Talia Forrester, a wanted traitor against the Boltons, had escaped custody at Ironrath, and she's important to our lord's plans, so he sent his elite soldiers out to poke about a bit. Oh no, they're searching for us. Uh-oh. Lord Torin had a feeling the Glenmores might be involved. <laughs> might have double-crossed him and started shifting the girl about. So we're all checking different keeps. Oh, jeez. Holland's at Slabstone. Eris at Silverglade. Boros, Oliver, and Janos are all at Stillport. Dickon's at the Old Barrow. Rickard's at the Two Towers. And, well, you lucked out and got me and Brandon here. So you don't mind if we have ourselves little lookies, do you? Uh, no. Not at all, Sir Alana. We have nothing to hide here, except for the fugitive that you are looking for. Brandon Lordlings given us the go-ahead. Rickid Ed Vermin. Uh-oh. She's investigating. Someone's been playing soldiers, my lord. My, uh, my sister, Raisa, she prefers a practice sword to a sewing needle. Okay, good cover, good cover. A girl after my own heart. I'll have to meet her. Maybe she can squire for me if I take a liking to her. Utmar wan hund her. What the f language is this guy speaking? I'm, I cannot with it. Dog? Could have sworn I smelled wet dog at real water, but that may have just been Lady Glenmore. <laughs> Got him. Dog? Must be my brother's dog. He likes hunting. Dogs belong in kennels, my lord. Keep it up, Aaron. Don't lose your nerve. He's already losing his nerve. All his stammering is making that woman suspicious. To be clear, I don't mean anything by that, Kyra. <laughs> She's like, uh, I'm a s I stutter, dude. What are you trying to say? <laughs> and someone's dropped their lemon cake. That's unfortunate. Okay, why is that suspicious? It's just a piece of food on the ground, girl. You're reaching. You're reaching, sis. Must be mine? I dropped it, and because I'm blind, I couldn't find it again. I must be. Anyway, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you're telling the truth. But we will be back with more men to properly search your keep, just in case. Dun dun dun! And they're out of here. For F's sake. <sighs> I'm gonna go soft if I take this BS lying down. Hey, what are you do- Oh! But he's a blind man! Come on, lady! Uh, do you take me for some sort of fool? Oh, she's- she's- she okay? She turned- she turned. She clearly turned around. See, like, what is this guy saying? Wu it's den maiden? <laughs> you think your excuses fooled me, Grayson? I was hoping they were. 
Woo it, Tali, a vor zwitter. <laughs> what does he say? I don't understand. What are you saying? We can talk about this. I kill every one of you. <laughs> Dang. That poor guy, he was like, what? I don't even know what you're saying, what? <laughs> Aww. No, they're killing him, stop. By the seven, she's beating him senseless. There ain't nothing we can do. None of us are good enough to fight back against them. N no, not him, not him too. D -d don't take him, wait too, it's not fair. Kyra's really sad. Kyra's really sad. There has to be something we can do. Alright, what is Tali gonna choose? She's gonna help the blind man or stay low? I have a feeling she's gonna help him because that's who Talia is. Don't be foolish! You'll get yourself captured! But one of us has to do something. Alana! Uh-oh. Looks like he's standing up. Ebert, why were you hiding? You've made a lot of work for yourself by letting us go to town on your men. Frankly, I didn't want to talk to you. Besides, Sir Eris, I often question the company my brother keeps. Shame. Lady Snow misses you, Ebert. You're too busy riding the gracing cock to pay attention to her. Okay. Alright. You bite your tongue, B-word! Don't bring her into this, Alana! Don't you dare! Traitor, you bring shame on our house! Alana's a little bit of a, a bad booty. She's, a, she's hardcore. It's not my house anymore. Okay! Okay, buddy, I trust you a little bit more now. Alright, alright, alright. Brandon! We're leaving! Putting a dent in Grayson's skull was satisfying enough. I can't stand looking at this maester's traitorous mug. I need you to watch my back while I squat in a bush and take the biggest crap you've ever seen. <laughs> she is just a, a lady like no other. Is she a lady like no other? We'll be back, maester, to find the girl wherever she's hiding and to bring you back into the fold, whether you like it or not. Well, I guess it's time to round the troops and get everybody the heck out of here. Because we don't want to be back here when uh, when when they bring in the troops. Heck no. Aaron. Gods, are you alright? Yeah, how'd you how'd you feel about your yourself, Alana, beating the crap out of a out of a freaking blind dude who can't defend himself? You tell me, Maester. I can't see the damage. And where's Kyra? Bring me Kyra! Oh, there she is. She's like, Aaron, no. Well, why did you let yourself get hurt? Wasn't gonna let you get hurt. That's what I promised, remember? Is the Forester girl safe? I'm safe. Thank you for not giving me away. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Not Naimond, Lady Forrester. I may be blind, but I can see right from wrong. Our houses are allied. My grandfather bent the knee to you. Working together is the only way anyone can ever hope to survive. Yeah, I guess these are like one of our last allies to like exist, you know? <laughs> Jeez. Now, I think I might need a trip to the Maester's quarters. That why Hill Mare might not have killed me. But my twin sister surely will when she sees the damage. Fat. Who's his twin sister? I forget. Alright, where are we now? We are at High Point, Seat of House White Hill. Wow, your guys' area looks like really bad. <laughs> like, it looks just really crappy. Like, you guys got a gardener? Huh? Got a maid? You should get one. Because your front lawn's look looking pretty shady. Tell me, have you ever even met Lord Bolton? Once or twice, my lord. Torn Whitehill. 
back with Torrin. I served under Roose Bolton directly for three effing years. You go back to Winterfell and tell him we are working on his ironwood, and that he'll have it when our craftsmen have perfected the te technique. Or we could go back there and tell them, hey, Boltons, you made a huge mistake on letting the White Hills come out on top on this one, because clearly the foresters are the ones who make the good stuff, not the White Hills. I'm just saying. I know Stannis effing Baratheon is coming this way from the wall, but shields that burn and crack are going to do more harm than good. I'll be sending my men to aid him in the coming battle, but the Ironwood will come later. Very well, Lord Whitehill. I'll tell him, but I don't think he'll be happy about it. Lord Bolton is nothing if not patient. He'll understand. Now if that's all, back to Winterfell with you. Uh, this poor guy, he's like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be the messenger, please. F going to Winterfell. Got my own crack going on. Osric, you can lead the men Lord Bolton is demanding. I've got a grieving wife to look after. Yes, my lord. It would be my pleasure. Lord Whitehill. Holland, Eris, any luck finding the Forster girl? Or even Lord Forster? It's been a month and Randall hasn't shown his face, so I assume he's hiding from me. My search at Silverglade came up empty, my lord. The Elver siblings were very courteous hosts, going as far as to provide me with dinner. But they barely had the food to keep themselves alive, let alone a fugitive. I can say with a clear conscience that Talia Forrester is not there. What a posh gentleman, isn't he? <laughs> Had a bit of trouble with the Riverstones myself. They heard what you lot did to the Glenmores and weren't too pleased. Suffice to say Lord Riverstone can't see out of either eye now, and I don't think his son will be having any heirs. Rickard returned from two towers last week, and you two right off on another two keeps. That said, I always had an idea of where the girl was, and your reports confirm it. You sent us on this wild goose chase and didn't tell us you had a tunch. Don't! Don't question your lord's judgment, Holland. We're not going to slow sh whoops. We're not going to show our hand for the time being. I want to see how things pan out without my interference. But we will make our move soon enough. Your orders until then, my lord. Helen, you are to take up Osric's role of mess master at arms while he is at Winterfell. Eris, I'm assigning you at my wife's personal guard. I understand you are a friend to her when her father passed at Thornbird Hall. You may both report to your posts as soon as possible. Torin. Sister, to what do I owe the pleasure? I don't know what you're up to, but I don't like the sounds of things. You're putting a lot of effort into tracking down Talia and Roderick Forrester, but we've already won the war. Is that not enough? She's always tried to be the voice of reason, hasn't she? I'm merely preventing any harm from coming to my family. I know that if we don't, Codicize every artery, the wound will keep bleeding. The forces will keep coming for as long as they can still fight back. Ironrath or not, we have to do something about them, even if it's just holding them in a cell for the rest of their lives. I don't know, what to, but it sounds like to me this guy is very insecure. He's very insecure. Insecure. <laughs> Just don't let this turn into another war, Torin. There has been too much bloodshed already. It's true. I don't plan on it. Torin, have you... Have you thought about checking on Griff recently? I've heard some awful things, and he is your brother. I have no interest in what Griff is up to. He's already failed me once. 
Not sure why I trusted him with Talia, really. Gods, I should have just brought her back here and kept her in a cell like Father did with the Forester boy. That was an error of judgment I'll never let myself live down. I've been reading Her Harris's correspondence. I'm not sure if it's true, but Torin, he's... Griff has apparently organized a patrol, though, with Asher Ashwood behind your back. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Ha! Of course you'd go for the effing Ashwoods. <laughs> Likely they'd approached him. The house has always been gagging for larger territory. They held the wolf's den for a while. No doubt they take Griff for a pushover and want to sweep the rug out from under him as soon as the marriage pact is sealed. That's the thing, Torin. Harris also writes that Griff has imprisoned the Lady Ashera, as well as her brother Remus. The rest of the Ashwoods are clueless to it. They likely believe it's just an extended visit. Oh my god, Griff! Griff! I bet he didn't like, because if I remember correctly, Lady Ashara is like super like tough, like a strong lady, and Griff probably didn't want to deal with that, so he's like, just put her put her butt in a cell. <laughs> Jeez. Send word to the Ashwoods then. Inform them of this betrayal. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with them if we sell Griff out. Dang! He don't give a flying fladoodle. He'll just throw anybody under the bus, including his bro. I'm not keen on implicating our brother, but I will be as civil as I can. We cannot afford the Ashwoods blaming us for this and starting up yet another blood feud. Oh, and Torin, this came for you from Warwick Bastion. Randall Warwick has executed his brother and nephew, taking up lordship of Warwick Bastion. Face the Warwick punishment for kinslaying? Good gods, why did I make this man my first commander if he uses every possible excuse to avoid his duties? What is the Warwick punishment for kinslaying? This is Lady Gwyn. Dun, dun, dun! He's back! He's back and ready to throw down! And now we're skipping. We're here! Ah, we're with Garrett and the rest of the North Grove on Forester lands. Alright, Griff. I mean, Garrett, what are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? It's about effing time! My children are tired and thirsty! There's a well and some beds indoors. They've all been left for months, so I don't know what sort of state they're in. I will go and get the children! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Though he might seem aggressive, my husband is grateful. You are a good man, Garrett. For a kneeler, at least. A kneeler? A kneeler? What? What does that mean? A kneeler? Excuse me? Uh, no, you don't have to worry, Signa. I was raised by my uncle and my Lord Forster to help anyone who needed it. Yeah, that's Garrett for you. He's a helper, helper who. I have a question, though. What'll happen to us when you take back your home? I'm sorry about your uncle, Garrett. It's not easy having family butchered by someone you thought you could trust. Are you really gonna do this, though? Can we even take back your home with only those soldiers and what are you gonna do after that can you i don't know get her to let them go let them rest i don't know yet we'll we'll improvise we'll figure it out once we're there i think you're being a little silly garrett um i think he should wait for roderick because like just like she said what is he gonna do when they take it back you know like garrett you need Roderick so that he can be the lord of the house when you take it back. And you need Roderick there for more men. You need as many men as possible. Like, what? Well, I suppose I'm with you whatever you do. 
No one else is going to keep your stupid ass alive. Haha. <laughs> Garrod. This is where they're buried. My father and my sister. Gods, you look awful. Don't worry about it. I'm just tired. Those visions with Roderick cost a lot of my strength. But at least I was able to convince him. I don't want to hear Roderick's name again. I'm done with him. Really? I honestly don't think Garrett would be this pissed. Like, I really don't. Because Garrett, he, he's a very forgiving, nice man, and I feel like he'd understand where Roderick is coming from. Like, it's not like we just killed his uncle just because we wanted to. There's We had a very valid reason, Garrett. Why are you mad? I mean, I okay, I mean, he's mad. Yeah, he should be mad. Of course, but you know this doesn't have to be the end of your father and sister. What do you mean? Perhaps I could raise them. Your father could fight for us. Your sister wouldn't be the same, but you could have her back. What? Okay, first we're doing this blood magic. We're going back in time, time traveling, and now you want to raise the dead? Girl, since when did uh, since when are you Jesus? Like, what what did you do? Did you meet up Jesus on on you know in the back in the North Grove, and he gave you some tips on how to raise raise himself back to life? Whoa! Did he just push her? <laughs> oh! What the f are you thinking? Do you really think it's all right to disgrace the bodies of my family? That I'd let them fight for us? Oh, so you had to push her? So you had to push her? I'm sorry, this is very out of character for Garrod. Very out of character. I'm sorry, Garrod. I thought... No, you didn't. You didn't think at all. They stay buried. They stay at peace. Garrod, a group of soldiers are coming from the north. Get Josetta and the children inside and keep them protected. We fight them head on. Dun dun dun! He's gearing up, he's gearing up! Looks like we got ourselves a troop of mamas, lads! All of you, move along or you'll be punished in the name of House White Tail of Iron Wrath. Oh great, we got some more White Hills, aren't they? This is the best. Garrett's not ready. Garrett is not, not, he doesn't want to play right now. Ooh, see what I mean? Bam, stabby stab. He he don't look too happy about that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Kill them! I'll report back to Lord Griff in case any of them get loose and come our way. Okay, leader, just take off then, will ya? Garrett is like, I'm ready to go toe to toe! I'm with you, sir. Okay, little man. Okay, Tom, just stay in the back, okay? Then let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, got him. Nice, good start. Sliced him through the belly. Stabbed him through the chest. Here comes the polar bear. Bear! Yeah, you weren't you don't really expect that on a on a <laughs> You don't really expect him just a bear. Kill it! And you did. <laughs> Whoosh. Ooh, no, you don't throw a spear at a live animal, you jerk. Shadow! Help, Shadow! Who hurt my effing bear? Oh, well, they're not gonna live very long. Josetta! Whoa. And he's tackled. Hurry, get up, Garrett! You're fighting for the Foresters, aren't you? Whoa. You owe me for this, Tuttle. <gasps> Finn? 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 Uh, what? Finn? What the heck? Where did this guy come from? I... What? I don't... How the... 
Hit away. Finn. Finn is back. Finn is back. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, okay, so I'm shocked right now because Finn came back from the dead in the last uh, season. He died. He died trying to help us. But I guess in this a AU, he's alive. We got Finn back. Yay. Finn. About time he showed up. That's the last of them. Boy, it's, it's a little skeletal man. What is this, a ghost rider just killing all the, the white hills? Wait, where's Sylvie? Sylvie! What is it? Effing hell, you scared me for a minute there. I didn't realize you cared that much, fish face. Ah, uh, she's still calling me fish face, huh? Still calling me fish face. Sorry, it's just... I promised Carter I'd look after you. I'm fine. Maybe you should be looking after our friend over there. Instead. Josera? I've never killed with my own hands before. It's always been using shadow. It's different as a man. I feel... It's alright. You never really get over the first one. I remember the face of the first Lannister I killed. When my father made me kill a pig on this very farm. Just lets you know that killing ain't right. But sometimes, it's got to be done. I'm trying so hard to do his accent. I can't do accents, so leave me alone. Um, <laughs> shadow will be alright. But he will not be able to fight until he heals. Well, it's a good thing the fight is over then, for now. But we have to reclaim Ironrath! How am I supposed to help without Shadow? Well, you put that sword to good use. Looks like things have been going tits up without me. That witch doesn't look too well. Glad you made it. After seeing this patrol, Maybe I shouldn't have sent you scouting. You must be joking. I could have taken that lot with my hand behind my back. But Garrett, this whole thing... I don't know what to think anymore. What have I got to be involved in this whole war thing? Um, where else would you go? Scared of Hugh White Hills? We're bros. And he says, Where else have you got to go, Finn? could go back home. Blackwoods have probably forgotten about me by now. Or, I could always visit Lady Piper again. I don't think her husband would be as forgiving as to make you the, take the black again, Finn. You stick with me? You can live at Ironrath with the rest of us. You sure they'd even have me? If you stay with us, I'll make sure they do. You can have a second chance here. Alright, Garrett. I'll stay with you. But you better be right. Yay! We got Finn! We got Finn. We got... We... We got Finn. Speaking of this whole forest thing, I ran into these two on my way here. The woman hates me, but she'll learn to love me. Everybody does. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's Ryan and Beska! Yay! The gang is getting back together again. Reunion, happy family. Yay. Ryan! Garrett! We saw your brother Roderick yesterday, Ryan. He's alive, but he's not how he was. That's why he's not here. Beska, it's Garrett, and Roderick's alive! I take it you're safe then. Name's Beska, a friend of Asha's. Been looking after this one for the past four months. God bless you, Beska. God bless you. You haven't done too good a job, looking at his hand. Looks like he's got frostbite. What the F is that? One of those white walkers? <laughs> she thought she was a white walker because of her hair. <laughs> She's my friend. We're all friends here. Don't worry. 
some more than others. Wink, wink, hint, hint, eyebrow, eyebrow. Garrett, we need to talk about something in private. Should we tell him about Asura and Josura? His brother didn't react too well when you told him. Are we gonna tell Ryan or are we gonna keep them a secret? Do, 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 do. Ryan, there's something I have to tell you. Those two over there with the bear, they're your brother and sister. What? What? Your father kept them secret, but he would have told you if he'd had the chance. They had to be hidden in to keep them safe, but now they're allowed to meet you. Aww, family reunions. Oh, Ryan, he just immediately hugs him. He's like, brother. <laughs> I think he'll take any family at the moment. Your White Walker friend here is right. I'm no good with children. Well, we're all gonna take Ironrath back. You're welcome to join us. Been a while since I've had a good fight. I've still got a score to settle with Griff. Yeah, yeah, got it. You gotta take vengeance, justice, for our boy Asher. We'll camp here until our strength's up. Then we hit Ironrath with everything we got. They won't even see it coming. Bam, bam, bam. And that's where we're gonna leave it, y'all, because the next section is over. Yeah, wow. Okay, things are going down. The foresters are slowly banding back together, but apparently Garrett and, and most of the forester crew isn't very happy with Roderick at the moment because he killed Dunkin' Donuts. But I'm sure he'll get over it. Garrett will get over it eventually. I mean, he'll he'll understand that, like, Dunkin' Donuts destroyed our whole family. He's the reason why we're in this whole position in the first place. Like, I feel like he'll get it at some point, right? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in to all of you watching on stream. I love you guys so much. We are going to finish this whole season 2 AU. We gotta. We just gotta. We're on part 3 ever higher. we got one more after that. And then uh, we'll have to see what we're gonna else we're going to do. So if you know anything other Game of Thrones things, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll go ahead and check it out. And if you happen to enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know when a new video comes out. Yes. And uh, if you don't want to wait for me to edit and post and you're just ready to kick to the next part, please head over to my Twitch channel, Michaela Faith. We will find everything there, all the episodes unedited and earlier access so please follow me on twitch join the chat room so we can talk and you know be together and enjoy this wonderful story together yay 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 we're doing other series so keep a lookout for all of our other telltale series and other games that we're playing and i hope you have a great day guys hope you have a great week ahead have a great weekend i love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in you are the absolute best nobody told you yet today you are beautiful inside and out and you are the love and the light of this world. You're amazing. You're the best. All right, guys. I love you so much. Have a great week. Peace out. Good. Bye. Bring the funk back. back, back.